Hey guys, it's Keto Genie. So I just wanted to come on here really quick and just share something with you. You know, I talk to my coaching clients all the time about positive self-talk and how we speak to ourselves and how important it is. And, you know, I don't ever want to be somebody who just preaches stuff and doesn't follow it or just gives certain advice to my coaching clients and then, you know, doesn't follow it myself. So I was experiencing something in the last few days. And so I'm sure most of you have heard of Tony Robbins. Okay, so Tony Robbins is somebody who just he talks about how powerful it is, the way we speak to ourselves, the way we move our bodies, you know, whether we think we can or not, you know, when things seem insurmountable, etc. So you can check out Tony Robbins if you already haven't. But so <clears throat> you might know that I'm getting ready to travel to California for my little sister's wedding. And, you know, I have a lot of orders I need to do before I leave. So um, I started feeling really stressed and really overwhelmed. And like just that little voice of self-doubt, that little, you know, whisper that says, you know, Shan, I don't know if you can do this. I don't know if you can pull this off. You know, you're one person. And I kind of was in that space for the last couple of days, just feeling like really overwhelmed and just you know, trying to figure out how I'm going to do this. And so one of the things that Tony Robbins talks about is that when you're grateful, when you're feeling grateful and blessed for things, that it's impossible to be grateful and stressed at the same time. And so that really hit home to me this morning. And I realized that he's totally right. Like he's absolutely right. And so I started kind of giving myself a mini pep talk. Like, you know what? You're a freaking badass. Like, yeah, you're one person, but you're one awesome person. And you know what? You you crank stuff out all the time. I mean, you operate at higher energy than anybody you know. And you know what? Whether it's 12 dozen or 20 dozen, like you got this girl, you know? And it was so funny how once I just started talking to myself like that, I just got into a groove and I just started making things happen. And so, you know, I just cranked out all these donuts today, and you know what? I love it. I mean, I'm so blessed that all of you are here with me on this journey. All of you are keto, and you know, people want my stuff. And I have two amazing partners here in town, in my town where I live. You know, I have my awesome friend Sasha over at Cafe Crema House, who, you know, wants to keep her customers happy and doesn't want to run out of things while I'm gone. And you know what? That is a blessing. I could be sitting here baking stuff that nobody wants, that nobody likes. And, you know, um, my awesome friend Hillary that I connected with at the lab, you know, over at Rocket Donuts. It's like people at Rocket Donuts now go in there and they know they can get a keto donut. And there's people that go in there that are diabetic or have these restrictions and they get to go in the, to Rocket Donuts with their family. And instead of just drinking a black coffee and being sad and feeling left out, they get to have one of my donuts. So it's like sometimes you can't change a situation or you can't change the expectations on you and you can't change what you need to supply to the people around you, right? Whether it's your business or your spouse or your kids or whoever. It's like the only thing you can change is your attitude and the only thing you can change is how you look at it. And so, yeah, I'm getting strangely emotional right now, but you know, I think it's important to be real with you guys. And I think it's the reason why I, I connect so strongly with my Keto Genie tribe. It's like, I'm gonna let you guys know when I'm struggling or I'm gonna let you know when something's going on. And you know what? The last few days, I've been feeding into that self-doubt and I've been feeding into that negativity and that feeling of it's too much, it's overwhelming, I can't do this. And you know, that's not true. That's not accurate. Because that is just my self-doubt and that is just my insecurities coming out. And the bottom line is, is that we all have these. So whatever you're facing, guys, I hope that this speaks to somebody. That There's maybe one or two people in my Keto Genie tribe that are watching my long videos that are on my Facebook or my YouTube. And this hits home for you. And this makes you realize that whatever you're facing and whatever you've got in front of you that you somehow need to get done... You can do it. You can absolutely pull it off. You can dig in. You can find that kick-ass warrior that's inside of you. And you know what? You can handle it and you can do it. And there's 
people fighting battles way more serious than I am, which is trying to be a solopreneur, you know, a solo business owner. And you know what? I am lucky and blessed to get to live my passion and get to bake Keto Genie goods and share that with people. And I am grateful and I'm so blessed to have all of you here. And this is going on five minutes, so it's I guess it's a semi-rant from your favorite Keto Genie, but for anybody who's still here listening, just know that you got this and you're stronger than you know and you can handle anything that comes your way and tell yourself that. Love you guys.